Do you work 10 to 12 hours a day? Most probably not. So welcome to the lives of textile workers in Bangladesh who sue our clothes at dumping prices. And that is why they took the streets for fairer wages a couple of weeks ago. And it was all over the news. Unfortunately, it's not just textile workers in Bangladesh who earn poverty wages. It is textile workers in many countries. So what influence do companies like H&M, Primark or Uniqlo have on this? Unfortunately, due to a broken business model, even companies that strive for fairness, fair prices and decent working conditions have a hard time to improve the lives of the workers in their supply chain. So what do they need to do? First of all, it's important that they integrate responsible purchasing practices in their daily operations. Secondly, they need to work on equal partnership with their producers. Thirdly, it is important that they implement a collaborative production planning in collaboration with producers. Fourthly, it's important that they implement fair payment terms that do not put a disproportionate burden on one party. And the last part, it's important that they work on sustainable costing that actually allows to cover the full cost of production in line with responsible business conduct. But more than just relying on individual companies to change their ways, we need legislation to bring effective change. The EU can hold companies accountable and ensure fair supply chains. So that is why we advocated for the EU's new Corporate Sustainability Due Diligence Directive. Under this law, fashion companies, large fashion companies, are actually required to ensure a living wage in their supply chain and at the same time work on responsible purchasing practices. Also, during the Good Clothes Fair Pay campaign, we collected signatures for an EU law that would require all fashion companies to ensure a living wage in their supply chain, which would mean that workers like the ones in Bangladesh will have a better life. 